Hey everybody, welcome to Furniture Flip. Today we have an amazing flip to show you. We're gonna be taking this beat up old table and giving it a faux tile makeover using stencils. And using a rainbow of folk art paints. Hi, I'm Kathy. And that's Steve. And together, we like to flip furniture. For this furniture flip, we're using a variety of folk art and Mod Podge supplies. We're using folk art home decor chalk in rich black for the base. We're using three different faux tile stencils. For the base of each stencil, we're using white Adirondack home decor chalk. Our tiles will be painted with a rainbow of folk art paints. We're using Mod Podge detail paint brushes to create the finishing details. To seal the table, we're using Mod Podge gloss spray. We found this beat up old dining table at a thrift shop. The top is laminate and the chalk works great with this surface. I'm base coating the whole table with rich black home decor chalk. I did two coats. To begin our stenciling, we will stencil the small square shape over the entire table. First, find the center of the table. Tape down your stencil, and using a stencil brush, tap and swirl folk art home decor chalk in white Adirondack. Continue stenciling the tiles until the whole table is covered. Touch up any mistakes in your edges with paint. We are creating many different tile looks by using nine different designs. Each one will be painted 11 times in two different colors. Position your stencil design over a white square. Using a stencil brush, tap and swirl the color of choice. Lift the stencil. Continue stenciling with all the designs and colors. To make our tiles pop, we're painting accents with Mod Podge detail paint brushes. Use the liner to create narrow lines. Use the spotter to create dots. Use the flat brush to create wider lines. Use the rounds to add highlights and dots. Use a spouncer to create large dots. Once you've completed stenciling and your paint is dry, seal with Mod Podge Acrylic Sealer. Now 
Well, that was an epic stenciling job. <laughs> sure was. <laughs> mm, I love all the colors and I love the patterns. This is such an awesome table. Well, speaking of colors, one thing I do want to note is this design technique can be done bold and bright like the colors we chose, or you can go neutral and just use more subtle colors. Same technique works. So true. So don't forget to like or share this video. And be sure to follow all of Plaid Craft's social media channels. See you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>